Bridgeport Power Quill. This is a quick little video on how to engage and disengage your power feed and set feed rate per revolution. Okay, let's get started right now. Okay, today I'd like to talk about power feeding. We want to power feed down. So the first thing we're going to do is we turn the machine on and we see that this guy's in the off position. Okay? So what we need to do is stop the machine, put this into the on position. So now when this is turned on, this is disengaged, but when I engage this, this thing will start turning. See how this isn't turning? Now, there's three settings here. I can push it in, which will draw this guy down. I can put it into neutral, oops. I can put it into neutral, and then I can pull it all the way out, which means it'll feed upward. And that all depends on the rotation here. If you're in low, it'll go one way, but if you're in high, it'll go the other way. Okay? So now let's try and power feed down. So let's say I'm up here now. And I want to start power feeding down. I just engage it to that point. I would set a ruler or something else along those lines. I can set my stop. And as soon as it hits my stop, it'll kick out. Now let's say I wanted a power feed up. So I can bring this down, pull this all the way out, engage, and now it'll power feed up to do back bores and things along those lines. And then when it hits a stop, it'll kick out as well. And you can also manually kick this out. We can leave that on. Let's say we want to be in neutral here. So if I want to hand feed, I can put this guy on. <clears throat> Engage, and I can hand feed down, or I can hand feed up as well. Be very careful you don't hit this guy with a hammer because they break off really easily. When we come down, the quill jumps back up. If you're boring, you might not want it to pop back up. So what we can do is put a small amount of pressure on the quill lock, just enough to hold it into place. Do what you need to do, you can shut the machine off, just lock that, boom, comes back up. So just a small amount of pressure, not a lot, just a small amount of pressure. Okay, feed per spindle revolution. On most of machines, it'll be this feed. On high, it's going to be 6 thou per revolution. On medium, it's going to be 3 thou per revolution. And on low, it'll be one and a half thou per revolution. Now, to change the speed that this goes down, I turn the machine off and I have a low, a medium, and a high. So if I'm on low, this is what it'll look like. And this is me spinning at, uh, we'll say 2,000 RPM. Let's go down here. And that's the speed at low. Turn it to high. See how that's spinning much faster? That's the speed at high. And that's basically your head power feed unit. See, I told you that was going to be quick. If you want to see other great videos on machining, check out my YouTube channel, Shop and Math. Also, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. It's free and it'll help me out. Just click on the icon on my face and I'll do the rest. Have a great night.